Welcome. Let's understand thermal and short circuit capability calculation of shunt reactor 120 MVAR 400 kV Onan. Let's start with a discussion about the thermal capability calculation of shunt reactor. Let's see some aspects in regards to inrush current. When the reactor is connected to the network, there is a transient condition. As mentioned in IEC, during steady state conditions, there is almost a 90 degrees phase shift between the voltage across a reactor and the current flowing through it. The zero crossing of the current is at the peak value of the voltage. Depending on the frequency and point on the voltage wave, at which the reactor is connected to the network, an inrush current will be experienced, with a peak value higher than the peak value of rated current. The worst condition occurs, when the reactor is connected at the zero crossing of the voltage wave. This will give a linked flux, that is about twice the value at steady state. For a reactor with a linear magnetic characteristic, the peak value of the inrush current is then about twice the peak value of the current at steady state. For reactors with a nonlinear magnetic characteristic, the inrush current peak can be more than twice the peak steady state current. The inrush current level can be derived from the magnetic characteristic. The inrush current phenomenon is the same as that experienced in transformers but the ratio of the peak current to the rated current is lower. Magnetic remanence effects do not influence the inrush current for reactors. The reactor winding losses mainly determine the damping of the inrush current, assuming that the power system has a small resistive component. Maximum inrush current of the reactor can be calculated as per given formula here. Where? I peak equals peak value of the inrush current, ampere. N equals rated current, ampere. Bn equals rated flux density in core packet equals 2 tesla. Bs equals saturation flux density in core packet, T, equals 1.29 tesla. Ln equals rated inductance per phase equals 1.06 henry per phase. La I equals air gap inductance per phase equals 3.2 Henry per phase. So, for the 120 MVAR, 420 kV shunt reactor, maximum inrush current would be 750 ampere peak. The inrush current is responsible for the winding temperature rise during energization. The duration of the inrush current to be used for the calculation of the thermal ability is about 2 seconds. The average temperature theta 1 attained by the winding after energization is calculated by the formula as per IEC 60076 to 5 clause 4.1.5. For copper conductor, formula is given here. Where? 0 equals initial temperature in degrees Celsius. J equals short circuit current density, which is inrush current density ampere per mm square, based on the RMS value of the symmetrical short, circuit current. T equals duration in seconds. Maximum value of temperature, for the copper conductors after short, circuit, is limited with 250 degrees Celsius according to IEC 60076-5, Table 3. Ambient temperature is 55 degrees Celsius. Average winding temperature rise of the reactor is 50 Kelvin. Theta 0 equals 55 plus 50 equals 105 degrees Celsius initial temperature. J equals 9.5 ampere per mm square. T equals 2 seconds. Theta 1 equals 106 degrees Celsius is calculated for the HV winding according to the formula in IEC 60076-5 clause 4.1.5. The temperature of winding theta 1 does not exceed the permissible value of 250 degrees Celsius given in the IEC 60076-5 table 3. Now, 
Let's start with a discussion about the short circuit withstand capability calculation for 120 MVAR 400 kV shunt reactor. Shunt reactor faults are described in IEEE C37.109. As per above standard, short circuit currents do not flow through the shunt reactor winding, due to the high impedance of the windings, instead the fault current flows through, the fault place bypassing the winding. The maximum current passing through the winding, is the inrush current that can affect the winding mechanically. Considering 120 MVAR and 400 kV, current under normal operation is 173.21 ARMS. Current under under switching on is 750 ampere peak. Type of stress includes Maximum hoop stress Axial bending stress Axial stress on spacer block and insulation Mechanical stresses and forces, calculated by inrush current should not be higher than considered strength and there should be adequate margin between design and actual strength. Thermal ability. Due to the maximum current, that passes through the winding is the inrush current, for a few periods only, its effect on the winding temperature rise is very small. As a result of this, thermal damage does not occur during inrush current. Conclusion. The maximum current passing through, the shunt reactor winding can only be, the peak value of the inrush current with value of 750 ampere. Thermal damage cannot be expected, due to the short time duration, of energization of the reactor. It can be guaranteed that, reactor design with enough safety margin, is in order for the electromechanical design aspect.